should I? It's very good of you. My title is Senior Head Coach for Resident Shows. I'm responsible for all 12 resident shows that Cirque du Soleil has. So welcome to the old theater. Hey Zebra. Lots of smiles today and no swearing. You're on tape. My job is to make sure that the level of acrobatics on the shows is kept to the, the Cirque level and also the professionalism of coaching is being held to a certain standard within the show. So that's my responsibilities. A day now involves a certain amount of office time and then visiting the shows and, and spending time with the coaches and the artists. So these guys, a lot of them will be divers or gymnasts um, or trampolinists, primarily trampolinists and divers. So they know what to do in the air. We just have to get them in the air. And yeah. So that's what the Russian swing. So a lot of time will be spent obviously Whoa. training them how to get off the swing safely, forwards, backwards, and reverse. And then once, of course, they're in the air, then their skill of a diver or trampolinist takes over and then they know what to do. Good, and you? Good. Good. My last year of high school and trying to decide where and what I was going to do, I ended up thinking, well, I'm going to go into therapeutic recreation. Little did I know that at that time, that was a, a class of 90. That time there was four guys and 86 women. He had something special. He had that spark that um, really showed that he was going to go far in whatever he chose to do. He um, would watch our training and he would ask questions and because of his strength and size and enthusiasm, we said, well, wouldn't you like to just come on and help us today? And how about helping us tomorrow too? And so that's how he became involved as a coach. When they needed an arm around them and they needed to talk, Tom was there. He was a very intense guy. I mean, you didn't, sometimes uh, you go to national championships and their vaulting championship is on the line. Uh, best not to say anything to Tom. He was thinking, but he was thinking with his athlete. I had been with, the, with gymnastics and been doing that. I had been teaching high school at Bishop Carroll High School as a teacher's aide uh, for a number of years. Um, then decided I needed to go get my degree because I was doing all this work, but getting teacher's aide pay instead of getting a teacher's salary. So I went and got my degree and did that. Then I got the full-time job at the club. And I, right around that same time is when Boris Verhofsky had come to me, who was now working with Cirque du Soleil, and said, listen, would you like to come and try working for Cirque. Um, a coach really has to basically make the act happen every single night at a very, very high level, 476 times a year. And to do that is um, a huge skill in working with different types of people and bringing out their skills and bring, flattering them and bringing out their strengths in the best possible way. So Tom was really able to do that very well. I work with people and that's what I did as a coach and so it was never boring because people are never the same and I always got asked how could you spend 12 years or 12 years at O? weren't you bored and I said are you kidding me I mean I started with some performers who were 19. 12 years later they're 31 years old okay and I said they're not the same people that they used to be They've got married, they've had children, they've had a divorce, the parents have died, they've grown. They're not the same people. How could I be bored? He coached me for nine years. And as I grew from 10 to going through puberty to getting my first boyfriend to, you know, getting ready for college and then going off to college, he grew with me. He became my second dad. I think he was not just a surrogate app for me, I think he was a surrogate app for a lot of them performers, but I think because we worked one-on-one, -on -one, it was just me and the Washington Trapeze, nobody else, I think it definitely developed a, a closer relationship and as well because it was probably interesting for him to learn um, how to teach a Washington Trapeze act, a new kind of act as well for Cirque, I believe. Cirque has never had a Washington Trapeze before me. Yes, it's about the choreography or the elements, but um, he goes above and beyond and really connects with the person which, you know, enables the performer to just get there maybe faster, maybe easier. As acrobatic coaches, it's not just a matter of us teaching tricks. We have to teach the character and we have to t help keep in line what the director wants the vision to be of the show. So as coaches, we kind of evolve into this, this other area of art, which I was not familiar with at all. I mean, I was very much a coach and this is, this is when you do this and when you do that. So that regiment stays there. 
and in, 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 in Cirque it transforms into an, another type of acrobatics, something that can be realized every night. 476 times a year, it's a lot. You're taking athletes essentially from uh, the competitive world where they're doing maybe in, in season one meet a week and now you take them here, we send them through our studios in Montreal, they go through six or seven months of training and then bang, you're here doing 10 performances a week. So he helps people to adjust and get out of that mindset of, you know, there's nobody sitting in the audience, you know, with scorecards, you know, judging your last, uh, your last trick. It's about longevity, it's about the performance aspect of the career, not, not just the technical element. So he was able to bring all of that. And he did such a great job for so many years on O, uh, that when the job opened up here, we thought, well, he's a natural for looking at the other shows and the other disciplines that we have. There's a lot that I think that I still can achieve within this role. Uh, I haven't been doing this role very long, only a few years, and I've only scratched the surface, I believe. There's a lot that can be done for coaching in general within Cirque du Soleil that I think that I can have an input with and help. Uh, not that coaching's in a bad position at all, but there's things that I would like to bring and develop with that. So I think there's many things that I need to uh, be doing within my existing position. I found an old picture from when I worked at the Y camp in 1970, I think it was 75. So you can name the nice shorts and the long hair and the, and the very uh, lean body. <laughs> uh, I would, if I had to pick two or three words that describe Tom, I would say reliable, true friend, and honest. And then a whole bunch of old club pictures. Gene, many years ago, Jim. Boris Verhofsky was one of the people who helped me. And then, of course, there's, man, there's Karen. Everybody looks at him and he's a big guy and everything else, but he's a softy. And um, he really cares about the people that he, he works with. Full of fun, full of humor. Uh, dedicated. I think if you were to ask Karen that, she might also add, well, he might be a little bit stubborn once in a while. I didn't find ones earlier than 79, because I started with the club, I believe, 77. But 79, 80, 81. Tom is direct. You know where you stand. I would say innovator, motivator. He's always honest. He's firm and fair. Uh, he's always been like that as a friend and as a as a boss, so you know, I appreciate that. You can see that the club size growing too from the first ones to the next ones to even bigger to biggest. Um, funny, uh, uh, soulful. Mm. He is a loving, caring, gregarious, determined individual. Uh, this is the when the 88 Olympics came to Calgary, so we brought some of our girls down there, we got to see it, so here's us sitting holding the torch and we tried to blow it out, but we couldn't do it. Here's a nice leg shot of me. It was the first double back that uh, me and uh, the gentleman, that's Brett Greenwood, had ever spotted, and uh, that was Nikki Kalon her pigtails flying up in the air. This is uh, Lisa Hunter doing a vault called Sukahara where she lands and does one half flip and that was the first one that she had ever done and I was spotting it. I'm lucky. You know, one of more reasons when walked, in, flew to Macau to see the new show that's in Macau and I walked into this big theater and I go, isn't this cool? Like, I'm halfway around the world in Macau and I'm responsible for the acrobats that are going on in this show. Like, this is cool, and I love what I'm doing, you know, and, and I'm, I'm a lucky guy. I'm a lucky guy to be doing what I'm doing. Some of all the celebrities that have been here through the years, Tracy Chapman. Now, Alice Cooper and me share something in common. Our birthdays. February 4th, born February 4th. So the original plan was just to go do this for like two years and uh, join the circus, run away and join the circus like everyone talks about. Now 14 years later, we still haven't come back to Calgary. It didn't work out that way.